Welcome back to Woburn. Take a look at the two competitors locked up right now. That's the champ sitting. And the challenger, John Joyce, with the seven pin advantage plus the next two balls. He's got two strikes in a row looking for the triple. This very well could be the match right here. Oh, no. Not yet. Punched out the two and the eight. Oh. It's a rough oh, box. Not what he wanted on the double strike. Chance to really take control of the match, and now he's still in a dogfight. Three frames remaining. That's the ball he wanted. So he gets the spare. Hard to explain that seventh box. <laughs> it happens. Let's see if our champ can answer the call here. The final four for him. Missing the head pin to the left. There's his opposite, a four box. Six, seven, nine. Total of eight, gain four right there. Now he's opposite a spare in the eighth. Leaves the four horsemen right. Off to the right, missed that object pin. Takes two of the four out. All big pins with his third ball now, going to the final two. Disappointing eight. So the lead is 11 plus this ball. Wants a better fate than he had on the double strike. Come on, John. Again, a chance for him to take control of the match, the final two frames. Again, not a good fill, 86. So it's back to that 14 pin advantage that he built up in the first game. He comes right back though with another clutch mark in the ninth. Just catches the head pin. Off the wall for the three, big ball. Phil's have not been good. Good that time though. Nine. This is going to put Mike Sweeney, our champ, into a double strike situation. No? Still going to have to throw strikes. Gets him to 115, total of 224. Tough ball right there. Really needs to convert this. Not enough. 
even with a triple strike, gives him what one? Uh, he'll fall One twenty-five. He'll, he'll fall short. He's going to go down. And go down, fight, and get over That's five pins. Rocking. John Joyce, our new champion. Mike, we got one more ball coming up. Strong finish from John. Four marks over the final six boxes. Did the trick. Eight more to the total. And it's a 16 pin victory for John Joyce, 224 to 208. We're back with the wrap up from the Bowler Drone right after this. Welcome back to Woburn, a new champ this week, John Joyce defeating Mike Sweeney. We will uh, speak with John in just a second, but first Trina standing by with the runner ups. Trina. Thank you very much, John. And I'm back with Matt Powers, and I get to meet Mike Sweeney, so this is fun for me. And Matt, you felt like you bowled pretty well. You beat your average. Uh, yeah, just some tough breaks today. Maybe next time. Huh? Well, I think you should be really proud of yourself. John was a tough opponent today. Yeah, he bowled really good. Yeah. Well, great. And you get a beautiful trophy from the ICBA and a jacket mailed to your home, so not a bad day for you. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, great. Well, we're gl glad you can make it today. And Mike... You had a great day. How are yeah. you feeling right now? I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, you know, John bowled unbelievably good, and he, he I just couldn't get a couple breaks that I really wanted, and, you know, he, he got unbelievable breaks. I mean, when that, he threw that double, I just couldn't, I couldn't top that. Yeah, the double was pretty exciting, but you looked pretty good out there yourself today, so you should be proud. Yep. I'm sure your family's very proud of you and, as well. I, I also like to thank um, Terry and Jack Quinn from Lafayette Lanes for giving me also the support that they've given me through the years. Thank you very much. That's very nice. All right. Well, you also got a nice tr trophy from the ICBA, so we have two winners over here. Back over to you guys. Trina, thank you. Uh, John, our new champ, you were strong when it mattered most late in these games, and a couple times you threatened to go after the triple strike. Yeah, I uh, got double strike twice, but um, a couple times I thought I lost it, but luckily I held it. Well, very well done. Congratulations. Thanks. Did you seem uh, find a difference between lane 35 and 36? It looks like you're more comfortable on lane 36. Yeah, I, I feel I'm more comfortable on 36. Uh, I came down a couple times and felt more comfortable on that lane. I, I don't know why, but... Usually left-handed, you're closer to the ball right. return. You're not usually comfortable over there, but you did a great job. Exactly. Thank you. Well done, and we look forward to having you back next week. All right, thanks. That'll do it for the Youth Candlepin Challenge. See you next time on CNH.